Hi, this is DC Scrap Room Rooster. Okay, today I want to share with you um, a couple more bottles that I made. And the reason why I'm making these bottles is because um, in about two weeks I'm having like a little garage sale here. Because I'm trying to sell a lot of stuff that I have here, you know, for extra income. And to pay off, um, of course, my surgery. But anyway, so I'm going to show you what I did. Um, I use um, fabrics, uh, uh, tissue papers, uh, um, regular um, 12 by 12 paper stacks. Um, um, appliques, lace, all different types of things. And I also made tag, coordinating tags, which I think you'll get a kick out of it because I think they're funny, but they're cute. So here we go. Um, the first one here is this one here, and this one is a mint green, purple, I don't know if it comes out in on the video, but it's um, it's fabric, and it's um, like a shimmery mint green fabric. It's really, really pretty. And then I used one of the florals, um, um, fat quarters that I have here which I think you guys have seen. I used the buttons, um, the little button machine that we had um, way back. I used that to make a couple more uh, buttons to match. Um, some wild oak craft uh, flowers and this bobble here on top, which you can't see because I'm way on top of the camera. This bobble here, which I'm gonna do a little dangle inside the bottle, very small, so this way the weight keeps it down. Okay, and that's the first one. I'm going to place that one right there. And I'm going to show you the tag to match. And this is the tag to match. Okay, the same thing. I did the background first, which is the way the bottle, uh, I did the bottle. And then I did some uh, flower arrangement there using some acry acrylic sprays. This flower was gifted to me by um, Vilma, which is teacups and roses here. Um, so all those crafts flowers here and here and these acrylics are from Miss Garden Grove and of course an eyelet there. And they're pretty and that's to match. Okay, the next one here is we'll do Frankie's. I made a bottle for Frankie to match her room and I used a tilde paper and what I did was was let me bring it up first. I did the ballerina because I didn't want to use anything else but the ballerinas. Okay, I took um, one of the papers that matches her room and I just tore it into pieces and then I decoupaged it on here. Um, the little, um, what do you call it, the ephemera that was with the paper stack. And I think it was, what was it? Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. I think I used both. The only two that I had, the tiny treasures and what's my other one? Uh, the Tiny Treasures and, oh my god, what's the other one? I can't read it because it's all backwards. And Happiness, Happiness is Homemade. So Tiny Treasures and Happiness Homemade, um, the two papers that I used. And it's not really much because it's just one paper, but it's two different paper sacks that I used. And this beautiful little butterfly applique from Miss Garden Grove store. Uh, again, the bobble, which I'll do a little dangle for weight. Um, the trim down here, this was gifted to me uh, last year from Linda, which is uh, Linda Loves Lace. Okay, see how pretty? Okay, and I know I'm very, very close. I'm also very on, on top of the, I'm on top of the speaker too, so I'm sorry if I sound loud. Okay, and then I put a little pink uh, trim on top also. Okay, now let me show you the coordinating tag which is here, okay, okay, same exact thing, oh, here we go with the, with the braided trim, again, that's a, a gifted by Linda, from Linda, uh, Linda Loves Lace here, I placed a number 17 on there, because it's Frankie's birthday, coming up August 14th, and she's going to be 17, oh my goodness, my baby's 17, okay, and I put a little ballerina, and a little uh, frame there, and some baubles, a little trim that left over. I thought it was cute. Okay, to match her room, which is going to go on one of her wall pieces. Uh, the next one is my little vintage one, which I love. This is a going for a friend of mine here, Desiree. Okay, her twin boys. Okay, that I took care of. Okay, this is going to her as a gift. Okay, she's the one that provides me with all these beautiful different shaped bottles. Okay, it's this here, and this one's out of the tissue paper that was gifted to me. Um, 
This one was gifted to me by uh, Miss Angel Pews here on uh, here on YouTube. Okay, we all know who she is. I'm pretty sure. And if you don't, I'm gonna everybody that I mentioned, I'm gonna put their names here so this way, you know, my new subbies, you can go to uh, you can guys can go and subscribe to their channel. Any anybody's uh, name that I mentioned here, because it's fun to you know to meet new artists. Okay, that's uh, June Angel Pews here on YouTube. Okay, kind of pretty. And then I put a seam binding on top and one of these little um, uh, blings from Natasha Scrapper Corner. And on top, um, this one here that I had in my stash for a while. Okay, and let me show you the coordinating die. I'm going to have to move this out of the way. Okay, which she has her two boys and of course I have the three girls here which is Frankie, Kiara, and my older daughter, um, Cindy, and myself. But these are, it represents us because she knows the whole family. Okay, and this is a tag. And my tags aren't completely done because I still have to put the seam binding and, uh, but right now they're wet so I couldn't put, put them on. But I want to record them because she's coming on Monday and I have to get these done. Okay, that's the coordinating die. I mean the tag. Okay, now I'm going to have to move this out of the way. Okay, hold on. Let me show you the other ones. I have to move these out of the way. Okay, and this was so much fun to do because you, you guys know I like altering. Okay, altering anything actually. Okay, I'm going to move these out. Okay, the next one here is this beach one here. Okay, and this one, what I did was I took um, uh, cheesecloth and I placed it on the bottle and then I used a gel medium and then I used, um, oh my god, Inca Gold and I just rubbed it with my finger and here's a Jolie, a Jolie, um, uh, the seahorse little stickers which I thought was so cute and these here, these were gifted to me, but I don't remember who gifted to me because it's been a while back and I just have them in my drawer with all my little doodads over there and I can't remember, but thank you. Okay, and what I did was I gessoed it first, gessoed it first and then I painted it and I used a little bling here. I might, want, I might, I'm not really sure because I was going to fill it up with this uh, uh, water and um, a coloring dye to do, um, how do you call it, um... Oh my God, would you do that? It, it's, um, oh my God, these words. And it's like right there. Anyway, you, you add baby oil and you add um, another type of oil. I can't remember. And it looks like it's, um, the water, the blue water comes on top and the clear water, go, the, well, the baby oil is on the bottom. And you could put a little boat and it looks like it's sailing. So I wanted to do that so I didn't really have to cover uh, the tag. If you look closely, real closely. Okay, you can see the, the um, I guess the name of the, you can't see the name, but you see the tag shaped. But with the water inside, you really can't see because I already tried it. I have seen if you can see some water inside because I already tried it. But anyway, so, and the, a bling here, and I'm speaking fast because I'm trying to, I have other bottles to show you. I'm so sorry. Let me slow down a little bit. Okay, some charms here that I had. And this here is that fran Frantage, um... Uh, embossing, I didn't want to put sand, but it's really cute because it has the gold in it, a little shell here, and here's my my charms because on the tag, which I'll show you now, it has the embossing. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to show you the tag. Okay, and here's the tag. Okay, and here's uh, the frontage uh, embossing. I, I don't know, but it's the one that has the white and the gold, as you can see. Okay, and then here's the shells again. I put a little bottle there with some little tiny beads. Okay, and on top, more of that, um, how do you call it, that, uh, charms. My brain is just not here at the moment. <laughs> I'm thinking about school shopping for Frankie. Oh my God, I can do that today. But Mr. Joe's mowing the grass, his grass right now, and I'm stressing because I'm supposed to be out and about, and here I am doing a video. So that's where my brain is at the moment. It should be here. Sorry, guys. Okay, so that's my tag. Okay, to match. 
Okay, let me do the next one. The next one is a fun one, which I wanted artsy fartsy. And this is what I came up with. Okay, and this one here, what I did was um, I put the tissue on first. And then I just put it all white. And then I used a bunch of stamps, actually two or three stamps I used. Um, and you can't really tell. It's like a, a French script. And this little, um, this came with, oh my goodness, it came with something. I think it came with the Spectrum uh, Noir markers or something else. I don't remember, but it, it came with something. So I used those two and went around the whole bottle, the whole exact bottle. Okay, and these little houses I was trying, because I can't draw. Okay, so I was trying to freehand this image that I that uh, was given to me of three little houses that um, Patty sent me a while back. So I was trying to hand draw them and of course cockeyed but it's okay because it's a artsy fartsy bottle so and then on here I just put some words together it says beautiful smiles fun town uh, sunny skies the neighborhood creative play and helping hands okay and then I um, sealed it with um, with um, gel medium but I'm going to go over it with um, an, a seal, another sealer and I, I have to do the bottle I'm just not sure what I want to do with the bottle just yet that's why it's not done Okay, and I'm going to show you my coordinating um, tag, okay, which I think is really cute. Okay, here it is. I'm sorry for the glare because it's on um, acetate, an acetate sheet. And get closer. And it says, house rules. Love one another, believe in yourself, always tell the truth, laugh often, try everything once, say please and thank you, never give up, forgive even when it's hard. Uh, Keep good friends, no whining, be respectful, keep your promises, do what you love, and be happy. Isn't that cute? And that was off the internet, of course. Okay, and this is the inside of it. I didn't want to put the words on top, and I was on I was on with a friend, and she told me just to put it on acetate. I was like, yeah, good idea, and that's what I did. Thank you, Evie. <laughs> <laughs> which is the guest dot here on YouTube. Oh, and by the way, she's having um a really cute challenge. Um, go to her channel, and I'll put her channel here also, so this way you guys could join in the fun. It's a really cute channel. Jo uh, please join her. Okay, the next bottle is... Oh my God, where's my next bottle? Here we go. Let me move this out of the way. Oh. Okay, is this black one here. Okay, let me move these two out of the way. I'll move this out because you saw that you saw that already. Okay, I'm almost done. I got what three more, three more. Okay, I'm placing them on the on the on the ground so I don't drop them. Okay, the next one here is this black one here. Okay, and this one is a lace. Okay, some beautiful flowers that were gifted to me. The lace was given to me from Shilpa here on YouTube, which is crap online something I don't know I don't remember offhand but I'll put her link uh, down below also and the trim here was also gifted to me to, oh I think I bought this gifted or bought I don't remember from Shopa also okay and this one is from my stash this one here is from my stash and the top part is uh, the bling is from Natasha Scrapper Corner uh, the bling here is from Natasha Scrapper Corner, and the little tiny bling was the nail, uh, nail um, art or bling that she gave me in one of her, in one of um, uh, her pocket letters that she sent me. That's uh, Natasha Scrapper Corner, and some more of that uh, trim that um, that Shilpa sent me. Not pretty. I love this bottle. Okay, so that's the bottle, and the tag is same the same exact way. Here, very simple, and again, I'm not done with the seam binding. Okay, so here we go, exactly the same. Some more of that bling. My last flower that was skipped to me not too long ago, and it's light blue, my favorite color. It looks white here, but it's light blue. Okay, that's that one there. Okay, and then this one here, which is, I like this one. This is also for a friend here on YouTube. So those two, those two are gone in Frankie and Frankie's, but I have more in the box over there that I made a while back, which I haven't showed those yet. Okay, this one here is using um, um, the Dear Jane paper from, I think it's Side Cuts with a View. I could be mistaken, but um, it's the Dear Jane paper.
paper. And I was trying to do it. She's, she's very um, eclectic. Okay, she doesn't like shabby chic. She doesn't like real vintage. She's more into um, Midori's, um, Midori's and how do you call it and stuff like that. Not into like altering stuff or writing, uh, journaling. That's her. That's her thing. But not the way we do. We do it here on, on YouTube. She's more like, more like a professional. I. A, I don't know what you call it, like a writer type, not even a writer, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what you call it, but she's very eclectic. Well, this is for her, okay, and I just put some ribbon on top, and some of this trim here, okay, and then on, I put a little dangle, and some pearls, and I put a key, uh, I made this little, a cute little dangle with the white, and this is vintage, very vintage, that was gifted to me a while back by um, Claudia, which is my friend in Pennsylvania, and it belonged to her, her, her deceased husband's um, mother-in-law, if that's correct, which was a necklace, and I made a couple things out of it. Okay, one of these fountain pens, um, tip, fountain pen, that's what you call it, you know what I'm talking about, right, this here, and then I put um, some ink in this little bottle, inkwell. That's it. Something like that. You know what I mean. And on top, I don't know if I, if you could see, on top I put a little bird that came from my staff. And on the top I put um, one of these um, a blings from my stash. Okay, and some, how do you call it, some um, pearls. Strand of, strand of pearls, pearls of strands, or just a strand of pearls. How's that? Okay, so that's that one. Okay, and let me show you the tag okay which you guys said it's for her how uh, inside inside this tag there's a letter for her so but this is what it's a gift for her okay and a simple tag okay and that's this here that's a coordinated tag and I have one more and this one of course I have to make a shabby chic one okay okay and this one is all appliques. Every single piece is an applique. I just put it into like different forms, and um, I have some uh, little pieces of wedding um, appliques here also, and some bling. And this flower was this flower actually was made for me from um, Florence H here on YouTube. Okay, when I purchased um, some wedding appliques from her, isn't that beautiful? It's gorgeous. And all the bling that's on here. Okay, you see that one there? Okay, all the bling. This bling. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, you got the butterfly here. That bling. The wedding applique. Okay, and that bling here. And a metal piece, a metal, um, this metal piece was given to me by, um, Oh my goodness. I'm trying to remember YouTube names and it, it's so hard to remember. Charlene. And Charlene is Crafty Cats? No, Crafty... Cra crafty something. Something. <laughs> Lady Crafts? Lady Crafts. That's it. But you know what? Like I said, everybody that I mentioned here, I will put here on top of the film or on the, in the description box. So this way, you know, I'm giving credit where credit is due. Okay, so again, isn't that beautiful? So all the bling came from Natasha Scrapbook Corner and again I will put her link um, down below okay she's all I think her store is open uh, for a few uh, weeks now because she's supposed to be on vacation so go you know see if she has some of this bling because I told her I need to get some more more or less in September I'm running out of bling because of course you guys know I do the wedding store here so I make stuff for them too to display okay so that's my bottle that's my Shabby chic bottle, and you can't see because it, it's white on white. But I'll show pictures at the end. Now my tag is really cute because it's the first time that I used a prima doll. Okay, and the only reason why I haven't done prima dolls is just I don't have enough time to sit down to focus and do fussy cutting and and just try to co coordinate my dolls because you, you guys, you know, I'm all over the place. I got to do things that are, you know, that that I can do at a timely matter and 
prima dolls you cannot do in a timely manner. You have to focus because I don't know how to fussy cut. I don't know how to color. So I did mine all white because it was easy. <laughs> so <laughs> this is it. And look how pretty she is. My first one. And the, uh, she's one of the first ones um, that came out. Okay, which are the only ones I have. I think there's like six of them and the only ones that I have. But I will collect every single one of them um, in the future. I want the whole... Every time one comes out, I want it. I want the whole set. Okay, just like... um, What do you call those dolls? The Centauro um, dolls? The Maribel? Oh my god! These two dolls are like... It's gonna, they're going to be the death of me. Okay, so that's my last one. Okay, and at the end I'll put pictures of... All of them, all of them together. If you have any questions, just you know, PM me, and I'll try to answer in a timely manner. Because again, like I said, I can't do anything today because I'm running out today and tomorrow and doing everything that I have to do for Miss Frankie before she starts school on Monday. And thank you all for watching. Again, I will put um, everyone's names that I mentioned. And if I did forget one, please forgive me. And um, I will just PM me and I'll put the information down below or send send you a private message. How's that? Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Have a great weekend.